Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate, stopping on by, once again, coming at you with another, you know, kind of retro, not so kind of retro, I don't know, this, I guess this VHS is pushing 30 years old, so I guess it's technically retro VHS, but, it, you know, it's not one of these that I usually do from the early or mid-80s, this is a retro VHS release from the early 90s, but I thought this might be kind of interesting for you guys as well, particularly the, you guys that might be of the more younger Variety to see what uh, see what the original North American release of uh, People Under the Stairs looked like on uh, Universal Home Video. It came out I think in in 1992. We'll take a look see. Before we do that, however, we'll take a closer look at the VHS cover like that. The People Under the Stairs, North American original North American VHS release, and I think that looks really really cool. And looking at the top left of the back of the VHS, I was correct. We've got a copyright year of 1992, MCA Home Video Incorporated, all rights reserved, printed in USA. Taking a closer look at the front cover, in every neighborhood there is one house that adults whisper about and children cross the street to avoid. Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. And this artwork panning, you know, further down it is really, really pretty cool. And unfortunately, I would imagine, I think I've got the DVD release from Universal. I don't think the DVD release has this cool of cover art. It's kind of cool, just like a, a skull coming out of the clouds here and this creepy-ass house there front and center. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Panning further to the bottom of the front cover here, I, I just, I love what Universal Home Video was doing with the VHS in the early 90s. Just that closed caption logo was really cool and they'd have this bold, I don't know if it changed colors based on the, you know, the, the cover art or whatever, but in this case it's just this cool bold stereo surround and I don't know, everything is just really easy to see. That R is really easy to see and the MCA Universal Home Video logo on the, uh, the right corner there is, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it, it's pleasing to the eye. Looking at the right spine, we've got our classic early 90s, you know, MCA Universal Home Video logo up top there and a really cool red on kind of, I don't know, dark blue, the people under the stairs. I think that looks really cool in the original font there from the original, uh, or from the early 90s. VHS Hi-Fi Dolby Surround Stereo 81136. Left spine looks exactly like the right spine, save for one crucial detail. The VHS logo that is featured on the right spine is nowhere to be found on the left spine. Top of the VHS cover looks like that. Pretty cool. Taking a closer look at the back of the VHS here, as you've already seen, we've got our you know, copyright and year information up there, barcode and VHS on the far right side, panning further down the original, you know, people under the stairs kind of font and logo there and a little bit of spiel there with uh, four images. We've got a creepy shot of some of the main people under the stair character and then the Everett McGill and Wendy Robbie. And then on the bottom here we've got, uh, is that, I want to say it's Bing Rames who doesn't even have his name on the back here because he's not really famous yet, but Bing, Bing Rames and Brandon, Brandon Adams here, incidentally, Brandon, Brandon Adams is, is just brilliant in this movie as uh, as Fool, and uh, I'm pretty sure I did a movie review of this years ago if you want to know what I think about the movie itself, but uh, panning further down, we see at the bottom here, Everett McGill in his frickin', I don't know, sex fiend outfit. <laughs> And what's interesting about Universal back in the day is I think they were one of the only home video distributors that didn't do the like the 90 minutes or 120 minutes. They did something much easier for us teenagers at the time. They did the, as you can see here, one hour and 42 minutes. That makes a much more sense than saying like, you know, a hundred and something minutes or a hundred and this and that minutes. So I definitely appreciated that as a teenager and a young adult and stuff. But now I can figure out the other way of telling time, you know, movie running times, but back then I really couldn't. And as I said, I think Universal was one of the only outfits that did simply say one hour and 42 minutes versus a hundred and whatever so many minutes. Also, we've got digitally recorded and closed caption, copyright 1991 Universal Studios, incorporate all rights reserved. That's copyright for the movie's theatrical release, of course. 
sliding the tape out. We've got a little damage here. This must have been a former rental. I think I, on the bottom of the label there, I ripped off the little security, you know, magnet piece there and it kind of left some residue, but we've got the early 90s people under the stairs logo there and once again color one hour and 42 minutes that's appreciated thank you very much Ooh, we've got uh, Dolby BNR must be on your non hi-fi tracks I would imagine Dolby surround stereo digitally recorded closed caption rated R uh, warning information in your early 90s MCA Universal um, home video it's kind of goofy how it also says VHS hi-fi as well I guess not because it, that's only, okay that's the only place it says hi-fi Looking at the spine, pretty simple here. Um, on the back, you can see easier than on the top label that it's just like um, standard probably for the time of all their VHS releases, just like white with this light blue just repeated over and over like MCA slash Universal Home Video, just kind of like a watermark, if you will. And then the people under the stairs and a MCA Universal Home Video logo there, printed in USA and copyright 92 information. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to, to switch it up and show a VHS from uh, the early early 90s versus early 80s. I mean, shit, early 90s is still about 30 years ago, so I'd still say it, it, uh, it you know, definitely counts as retro. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, we'll catch you on the next video.